So, what brings you to here, London? Uh, well, for here, London, uh, I mean, it's just a, an amazing day full of creativity, really. I mean, it's nice that I've been putting on awesome events for like, I think about 10 years now, and Adobe as well. And, I mean, there's people like James Jarvis, and yeah, I think the lineup's been fantastic today. So, yeah, I'm basically here for a lot of inspiration. So, uh, who are you looking forward to hearing from today? Well, I think uh, James Jarvis, definitely. Uh, really, really enjoy his stuff, and I think um, he's been a huge inspiration. Uh, kind of, I suppose, the way I do things in a kind of DIY, DIY sort of style, uh, kind of mixing skateboarding and illustration and things like that, and developing his own voice and career. Um, certainly, and Juno Calypso as well, who's just an amazing photographer, uh, really stylistic with a lot of wit in the work and, and humour, but kind of, yeah, just really elegant and beautiful work. But I think generally, I'm, I'm looking forward to being surprised as well today. I think there's a lot of people on the lineup whose stuff I don't hugely know, but I know because it's just nice that it's going to be really heavily curated. Just really interesting and exciting, really. So. Awesome. So one of the key themes of the conference is creativity. When do you feel like you're most creative? Oh, uh, that's a good question, that, actually. I mean, it really depends. It, it completely depends on, on the client or, or what I'm working on. Um, I mean, at the moment, I'm doing a lot of work for myself uh, rather than client work, so kind of moving away from that because it's been, it's been like a couple of years of very heavy client work, which is fantastic as well, but I think it, you just get to that point creatively where you need a bit of a, a break from that. Um, so for me, being kind of at my most creative is just in my studio, in my own headspace, music on, um, just creating work basically. So you run an award winning creative agency, do, Middle Boot. Yeah. How did it all start? Well, Middle Boot, uh, Middle Boot started um, straight out of uni. So the idea behind it was I didn't ever want to work for like a design agency and kind of go in as a junior, bang out like kebab menus or something like that. You know, I, I really just wanted to work in the music industry and um, kind of I felt that the way of going about doing that was to set up my own uh, business. So we, yeah, just basically straight after uni kind of uh, decided to set something up using uh, an in-joke that uh, me and my friend did, which was Middle Boot, which made no sense at all. But to us, it kind of uh, felt like the right thing to do. Um, so that's how we started Middle Boot, really. It was just at a festival, uh, wanting to work in the music industry. And I started creating zines, and uh, through the zines, got to connect with a lot of record labels and, and bands that, I, that really inspired me at the time. Um, and then through those connections, I was able to go, hey, why don't I do some artwork for you as well? So I started touring with bands, doing merch, prints and t-shirts and single covers, album covers, uh, and kind of slowly developed my client base through there really and got it to this, where I am today. And you've worked on a range of great projects, including Art Direction for Visa's 2016 Rio Olympic Games, to designing record sleeves, magazine covers. What's your favourite? The favourite? Pro wow. Um, I mean, every project's completely different. So, like, with the Olympics, obviously, that, I don't, you know, I don't think I'll ever top that. Uh, that was a really beautiful thing to be a part of. Um, that, but that was a whole team at Saatchi that we were involved with as well. So, um, but that was... That was fantastic because it just meant that the work that I was involved with had a scope to go global, you know, and, and to be involved with something like the Olympics is just amazing really. It's a very different process to, you know, working with a band or something like that. So, I mean, that was one of my favourite projects. And then, I mean, I really like working with like small to medium businesses, people that uh, you can really kind of go in and, and work with creatively and, and develop work really beautifully and sort of um, work as more of a collaboration between a small team and, and kind of have ownership over the work. What is your usual work style when it comes to collaborating with colleagues? Oh, um, usually, usually leave it to the last minute and commission someone to do some stuff and hope that they do it. Um, 
No, I mean, I, you know, I, I put a lot of trust into the people that I collaborate with because I've already seen their work and I know they'll do a good job. So, um, but usually, I mean, it's, well, for, I collaborated with a 3D artist just the other day uh, for a political based type piece. And, and that, that literally was, um, I came out of a meeting on like Monday, text the guy, just had this idea and was like, right, I'm gonna do a type piece to promote Labour, to promote Corbyn. Um, are you up for it? Uh, and then you brief them. Uh, and I have the benefit of having been given a lot of very bad briefs over the years. So I, I like to think I kind of know how to brief someone quite well, or the way I would like to be briefed. So I think it's all about creating that brief that you give the, the person that you're collaborating with enough freedom to go and create and express themselves and do something that they feel is, is going to be right for them, but also to give them enough constraint so that it still fits the brief and, and works for both of us. And what creative tools do you think help you work together? Oh man, I mean, uh, well the Creative Cloud is, is fantastic, um, I mean, that has been a revelation for my sort of working process really, uh, and I'm still getting to grips with it, you know, as, as we all well continue to do, but yeah, I mean, everything that's sort of involved in that type of collaboration just makes life so easy, you know, the files are there, they're with you, you know, your collaborator in minutes, it's brilliant. What advice would you give to those looking to get started in the creative industries? Don't bother. <laughs> don't do it. There's, there's enough designers in the world, you know what I mean? Uh, no, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I definitely have said that to a lot of people because I think, you know, if, if someone has this, the ability to kind of do something that they care about or help people in the world, then that's probably more important than doing design. But um, to people that the first getting started and really want to do design, I just think it's all about, it's a lifestyle, you know, it's a dedication. So if it's something that um, you really want to make a career out of, then you've just got to work all the time, you know, and, and think outside the box and push yourself creatively. And if you can't kind of, uh, if you don't have the means to do something that you're being asked to do, then find a way, because there's always a way to, to make it work. Cool. So, as a creative, how have you been using Adobe Stock? Oh, um, I mean, I've been using it quite a bit actually recently. I've, um, well, thankfully, been working with Adobe quite a bit. So, I've been able to kind of uh, have the benefit of using Adobe Stock. Um, but, I mean, I've been using it in, in a few different ways. What I think has been really beneficial is the fact that once you've just got what you need, it's there and you've got it in minutes. Um, so I did a project for Adobe where you kind of film live and you create a live piece of work and I did a book cover so found a book mock-up and I mean within like 30 seconds I think I had a book mock-up in the cover on screen you know it's just brilliant in that sort of way yeah. So what's your perspective on how stock, stock photography is evolving like how would you like to see it evolve in the future to suit creatives? Uh, doing what I think uh, Sensei is starting to do with uh, aiding that, that kind of discovery of what you want because it is a really time consuming process when you've got a brief to work on and you've got to find a really specific image, you know, like a man riding on a unicycle wearing a bow tie or whatever, you know. Um, but using stuff like Sensei, the ability to just find that image using their algorithms really quickly is, is going to take, yeah, it's going to kill some time, it's going to be very 